What's your opinion on Bill Cosby? Um, what is my opinion on Bill Cosby? Him being found guilty of the three charges. Yeah, found guilty of rape? Yeah. Uh, let me see what this is. Oh, I have the wrong one. But yeah, basically he was found guilty. Um, I'm not sure specifically, but I know it was, I believe it was the rape. I and just feel like it's it seems it seems like it's getting harder and harder to find people who are good all the way around like well-rounded good people seems mm-hmm. like and companies mm-hmm. especially companies now do you feel as though like for example why was Bill Cosby found guilty but then everyone else um who were accused of these things they weren't taking a trial or nothing like that they just I'm going to drop out of, I'm going to fall back from my business and this and that and the third, and it was just let go. Um, Do you feel as though there was a biased opinion with Bill Cosby? A bias how? He being an African-American, and then the rumors rumors of him trying to buy NBC, and they're saying that this was, uh, this issue... um, was to sabotage him so he could not buy NBC because he definitely could afford to buy NBC. It's, uh, this issue was to sabotage. It's true though, wasn't it true? I'm you, not sure. He's, you're saying he got he's guilty. The verdict for I, I believe he, three, is three he of the still women, saying is he saying he's innocent? Yeah, he's saying they consented. They knew what they. And the crazy thing is, they came back to party with him again. <laughs> That's a crazy thing. <laughs> so after it happened, after they, it happened, they came back to party again. Like, like they knew this happened, women, and they were I, like, "Hey, I would let's think have, they knew it happened because now, years later down the line, you want to go ahead and press charges." So that's interesting. So you're telling me that something that you didn't want to happen happened, and then the next day you're like, "You, you know what? Let's do let's it. Let's do it. That was fun." Let's. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really got an opinion on it. I just think, uh, I just think that um, they stripped him of his doctorates. That's crazy. Temple did, yeah. That's... Actually, twenty six colleges did. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, just goes to show, uh, you can't drink where the water hole is. The <laughs> crocodiles eat. <laughs> <laughs> what you be making up stuff? Hey, no, like you, they say, like they you, say, like who the says? Branch, like they say, when the branch uh, grows green on the other side, the birds start chirping <laughs> in the north. So, what are you talking about? Yeah, I, uh, that's what, you know, that's that's what it is. So, what it bringing is. us. So now that you talk about the Bill Cosby thing, my question to you is: What do you think about companies who uh, gain their success through like? You know, doing damage to the people and then have like foundations that are like on the side helping people. For example, like let's say, uh, for example, make McDonald's. Wait, are we having like an intellectual have, debate here they, they other than the, relationships? They have the Ronald McDonald Foundation. Can you just ignore me on that? Yeah. Or like you have, <laughs> um, what is it? The Red Cross. Okay. Okay. And you have like all these things. So you have a company that has a lot of negative connotation to how they got their success, but at the same time, they're helping people too. Hmm. So what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say where do you, where does your opinion fall on that? Because you have because you brought up Bill Cosby, and it's like mm-hmm. all of the things that he. Oh, you're done talking about what sell. Dave Chappelle said. He, I don't know what Dave Chappelle he, said. Oh, Dave Chappelle said, he said it in this way. Don't quote me on it. But he did use these words. He said, uh, he rapes, but he saves. <laughs> oh, and he yeah, saves I, did. I remember that. More than he rapes. <laughs> I do remember that. He still that. rapes. <laughs> so, so. Right. It's like, so, yeah. It's like. <sighs> And then he used a scenario. He said, "Can you put it on mute, dog?" Okay, dude, I can't help it that we that you can't put it on. That mute. we're having people hitting us up, and yeah. So, and then he used an analogy. He said, basically, he was saying, "What if there's a superhero that that uh, that can that saves people 
and he needs like he he lo- he's good. He's a superhero, Superman. But the only way he gets his power is by doing <laughs> by raping people. That's no, by man. doing what Trump said is grabbing by the you know what. Yeah, okay. And so he uses an analogy. He said the super the Superman that this superhero can't say like this building is on fire. I don't have any powers. I need to grab somebody by the. Would you let him do it? If that's what gave him powers to save hundreds of lives, and all he needed to do was just do that. Okay, so that's, with that being that's said, that's different than rape because you said, "Would you let him do it?" Oh, that is different. Okay, yeah. So with that being said, with what you're saying with the companies, it's that's that's tough. That's really tough. It's almost like, for example, what I've learned and I didn't know when you have politicians that go out and say. You know they're they're the, they're going against another politician. They say, well, this politician, for example, it never happened, but this politician signed a bill that allows cancerous uh, um, cancerous product to be sprayed over your vegetables, right? Well, from what I've learned is that some of the bills that are being signed come with a lot of different things within it, like a package deal. <laughs> right. So it's, they have to pick their poison and say, well, yes, this bill does allow them to spray chemical cancerous uh, product over the vegetables, but the bill also then includes a uh, 20%, 50% tax write off for companies, nonprofit to help with homeless people and their food. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So it's like, oh my gosh. All right. Well, well do I sign? Like, you see what I'm saying? Do yeah. I sign this bill or do I don't? Now, if I sign it, I'm helping hundreds of homeless people in America and they'll have health insurance and yes. health care and all this stuff. But, but the, the farmers time, are allowed to spray chemical stuff to, you know. Yeah. So it's pick your poison. There's nothing that. So when it comes to that, to answer your question, um, what do I think? Who knows? I, it's hard. <laughs> it's, it's hard I to mean, make a decision like that. McDonald's it's like, has the fundraiser, but yet they're selling burgers that you um, eat too much, that obesity and right. all that stuff. And then, it's the, one of the nation's largest problems. Yeah, it's like, obesity. But then again, no pun intended. But this is the thing, though. This is the thing. We're in the information age where now it's like you can choose whether or not you pull into a McDonald's drive thru. Like you can really choose, can, but can you really choose though? Because yes, all can. of the advertisements, you all it. of the yo, listen, you be hungry on the way to work. Yes, and you want fast food. Uh, do I want it? No, you want fast food. Why you, do I want fast food? You want fast food, but here's the thing: what are your options? Wendy's or McDonald's or Burger King <laughs> or Wawa. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. But for the fact, but seeing that McDonald's is running the game, nah, because some people really legit choose not to eat at McDonald's. Like, I have friends that be like, nah, bro, I'm not doing McDonald's. Like, I go to Wendy's or go to Wawa or something like that, but I'm not doing McDonald's. Like, some people really don't eat yeah, at McDonald's because they feel it's disgusting. Not so much the food, but more so the way they prep it. What, the what, what, what my point is, is that your willpower, you have to have a whole lot more willpower. They make it hard for you not to choose them as an option. That is their whole marketing campaign. They make it hard for you not to choose them but, as an option. Just like Coca-Cola, when you go to a bar, what do you Well, get? how do they make it hard for you to choose? By running the game. <laughs> no, but like but like seriously, like how is it hard? Like are you saying like mentally they mess with your mind from advertisements? Excuse me, and uh, things like that. Or what I'm saying is like, no, what I'm saying, they are putting McDonald's in every location to make sure that you have to drive by one. Both, like it's like if you're trying to walk across this grassy field, and I say, but you can only step on the stones if you want to be healthy, (laughs) and then you're like, yo, the whole field is grass. What do you mean? You're not even giving me options. So then, if that's the case, you have to. So, (laughs) when's the last time you ate at McDonald's? I know you're a vegetarian. When's the last time you ate at McDonald's? Uh, last week. Okay, now what'd you get at McDonald's? Biscuits. With what on it? Honey. And okay, so that's not. So you made a healthier choice than to get 
a double sausage egg cheese biscuit with extra cheese and bacon, like I get. <laughs> um, and you chose to do that, right? But, but see, that's but a healthier, you, that's a healthier, healthier option. Option for you. That's not. That's no, not a healthy. A, I, what I said was not healthy. No, what I'm saying is my choice would have been your healthier option. Yes, yes. Okay, but that wasn't my healthier option. Well, it's a biscuit. What's wrong with biscuit and honey? McDonald's is not my healthy choice as a vegetarian or a vegan. My healthy choice is way healthier than that. So you're saying a biscuit and honey is not healthy? Right. So what about if you get a salad from McDonald's? That's healthy. For what I heard is that they put sugar in the salads. I think it's a salad dressing. No. Yeah. I think so, yeah. All I'm saying is... And I know those salads aren't organic, GM, non-GMO salads. Yeah. All I'm saying is, I think that uh, <laughs> we're, we're in an informational age right now where uh, you, can, you can look it up. Like, no matter how many ads you have or anything like that, you can look it up. You can look up you what? You keep looking at the clock, Mark. Am I boring you with this? Do you want to? <laughs> what do you want to get into? Because I, I know there is a topic that I want to talk about. I but want you a said burger. You want to talk about the air? I mentioned the burger about an hour ago. You know what? And well, we have like thirty more minutes left, so that's why I'm looking at the clock. All right, well, I'm trying to get a burger. See, see, this is the okay. So, what the problem is for today? Um, I said there was no problem, but then uh, you have a coworker who's more focused on food than he is uh, the show. All right. Speaking of burgers, though, uh, me and my fiance, we went yesterday to <laughs> TJ Mac, not TJ Max, TJ Max, TJ Fridays, TJ Max, oh, yeah, TJ Fridays, and um, had this veggie burger, unbelievable. I lied to you not when we were coming back from Costa Rica. I think no, actually, when we were going there in the airport, we stopped at Fridays and they ordered uh, this veggie burger that they now have, unbelievably good, like. You, it's 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 really good. You don't taste the difference, but you feel lighter after eating it, and you're still full. So, I think uh, that was the he's best. talking to you, meat eaters. What I mm. realize is that a person who eats meat, when they give you a vegetarian option, it just tastes like more of the stuff that they already like to eat. So, I, but isn't that <laughs> the? But you used to be a meat eater. Pause. <laughs> You did. <laughs> Why you say pause? Because you have to on that. <laughs> you, that was, but you did. Okay, yeah. Right? Yes. So you enjoyed it. Then you learned that, wow, eating this meat isn't good for me, so let me go vegetarian. What are you saying? That there's, there's, so what I'm saying is the taste can your, still be good, like, but it's all vegetable. Your, what? Like you're going off no, of, no, no. you're 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 saying that listen you, there I think there's two types of vegetarians there's one that does not like the taste of meat and then there's two that has enjoyed the taste of meat but for health reasons they want to go all vegetable so therefore you have like a veg, a veggie patty that tastes like beef but it's all vegetables beans and all that cabbage and stuff that they put in it and it's like oh this is amazing Sounds nasty. Maybe when you first become a vegetarian. I was a vegetarian for six months. Like Straight. I said, when you first become a vegetarian. But do it for 10 years and then say you want to taste the taste of meat. I don't know. Maybe there are people like that where they've been a vegetarian for 10 years and they want to taste the But taste I had the meat. veggie burger that you were that. talking about. And it, it tastes like a burger. It doesn't taste like I'm biting into a salad. <laughs> like it sure enough doesn't taste like that. So I don't, and here's another thing saying, about I don't get here's what you're another saying. thing about meat eaters. They think everything is supposed to taste like a salad if you're a vegetarian. So, but then I don't understand what. What's the big deal of it? Hold on, we got another caller. Let's see. Caller number one, what's up? You are number listening two. to. Oh yeah, number two. You're number two caller. What's going on? Who's this? Hi, I like to remain anonymous. Oh, <laughs> what well, I'm kidding. I know who this is, but we will leave her name anonymous. Oh, snap! Let me blow it out. I'm calling hand claps. for your. I'm calling for your. What the problem is? Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's hear the problem. Oh. So let's yesterday, go. Yes. Let's go. Yesterday, I'm chilling with my man, and it was a good day. You know, we had a really, really good day. I mm -hmm. love this man so much. Oh, I enjoy spending snap. my time with him. I just want to be with him all day long, 24 hours a day. All right, we don't want to hear but about your man, though. he's got to go though. home. I could probably get He's got to go home. He's got to go home at the end of the day, you know. Mm -hmm. So he gets in his car, and he leaves. 
And I'm like, Dad, I really miss him. I was like, let me give him a call. So mm-hmm. I call him up and I say, hey, babe, I'm just calling you on your way home. So I know you're tired. I don't want you to fall asleep on the road. And then he says to me, babe, I can't really talk to you right now because I'm listening to music and I'm thinking about you. <laughs> How in the world I'm, I'm can you be thinking me. about me but you don't want to talk to me? That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> 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 Explain yourself. What's poppin'? <laughs> Everything is on the rise. Don't name drop it. Explain yourself, <laughs> Maverick. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Stop playing sound effects. Stop day. playing sound effects. I want to know how Whoa. does this happen? I don't know. She, her, obviously, her man. Uh, what, oh, wait, right, wait. So, I'm about what, to, so what do you think? Let's happened? drop some gold nuggets. Here we go. <laughs> all right. All what right. do you think? Happened? All right. I think. Let's see. If I was in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> if you were in that, if I was in it, let me. I'm gonna put myself in her man's shoes. Okay, go ahead. Um, but she sounds she sounds sexy over the phone, so I don't know who this is. I might try to. I hope her man ain't listening. I might try to get them numbers afterwards. Uh, but it sounds like he enjoyed the day, the evening with you, ma'am. If I may say, he enjoyed okay, okay. he enjoyed the whole day with you, uh, and it sounds like he could have been he could have been a little tired because he talked, mm-hmm. and I believe. Tell me, you guys did talk all day, like you sp- spent all day together. Is that correct? Yes, it's never enough. It's okay, never enough. okay, miss. Never so, too and much. That, never too much. Yes. So, miss, um, <laughs> I would say I would say that he was a little tired, and the drive. How long is the drive from your place to his place? That's irrelevant. No, that no, miss. <laughs> Ma- ma'am, ma'am, you called in for no, the that, goodies advice. That's irrelevant. That is so, irrelevant. No, it's not. Because you no, could have had be- a conversation and ended it, and it didn't have to be the last, the whole time of the ride. But it sounds like she's very in love with this man, and she would want to have talked to him the whole ride. Oh, okay. Now, depending okay. on how long the drive I mean, you would know better than I would is, know. I know. I wouldn't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's a 45-minute drive. Ooh, it's a 45-minute 45. drive. Oh, okay. wait. Let me add, let me add a little... Another piece of another wow, she really wants nugget. to get something off her chest. Oh, let me hear oh, this. What's oh, the other piece? Oh, let's go. So, so then I feel like I kind of put the pressure on him a little bit. So he's just like, "All right, babe, I'll talk to you." You know, and just until I pull up to the house. And I said, "Okay, cool." Mm-hmm. So then, as I begin to speak, he's just like, "Oh, I'm at the house. I'll talk to you tomorrow." Oh, oh so Jesus. he pulled up to the house already, and hmm, that's he was interesting. already sitting in front of the house. Uh, <laughs> so, hmm. wait, what was the song that this man was listening to? If you could, um, yeah, do you know Maverick. what that song was called that he played? I don't even know. Mm. He was going. He said it was this song that's so hot. I'm gonna send it to you, but he never sent it to me, so I don't know. Oh, what do you uh, think it was, Maverick? Well, you should hit him up and say, I don't know. Um, I do know that I've been rocking out to this one song. Uh, okay, you're not gonna name. find it that quick. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna find it that quick. But my opinion is that he um, he had a great day with you. And it seems like that you guys are in love. Oh, oh my God. it's by Sabrina. Mm. It's by Sabrina. Claudio. Claudio called Stand Still. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. I think we can close out with that one. Um, <laughs> so my opinion. No. Wait, let me, let me yeah, tell my opinion. Oh, oh, there's one well, more problem. Shoot, and then okay. I'm gonna, um, <laughs> oh, well, there's one more problem. Let and me. then I'm going to let y'all go. Okay. No okay. problem. So What's as the... you guys were talking, I was listening, and you were mentioning Kanye West. He got a new song out. So I logged on to um, Spotify, and I looked up his new song. With T.I.A. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm grooving to it. I'm like, oh, this is hot. He about to, this verse is about to come in. Mm-hmm. And then he says, y'all about to go crazy over this verse. Wait till y'all hear this verse, right? And he's hyping me up. I'm like, yeah, yay. Yeah, yay. Mm-hmm. Right? And the next thing I know, here he comes some poopity scoop. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I said no he didn't I heard so that I'm little part I'm done with Kanye I'm and now that's I'm not listening song. to no more yay He could tell me that the sky is falling And the moon is going to disappear And we need to be aware I'm still not Wait, listening Which song was that? I was talking that's about the song the with, with him T. and T.I. That is the one with him and T.I.? Ain't no T.I. It's just him. Oh, okay. I think I did, yeah. um, Just lift yourself. 
Uh, is this yourself? Please don't promote this song. Okay. Yeah, that <laughs> no sounds like doubt. something I would promote. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a good day. Well, thank I'll you, Mayor, for it. calling in. Thank you. Thank you, peace. All right, so Bye-bye. now let's get, huh? So that's interesting. So her man uh, wanted to listen to, listen music, to music. I think instead what of was her going musical on, I think, voice. I think what was going on was he heard and talked to her all day. Oh my gosh. And he all right, man, we know it's you. Driving. What? We know it's you. How you do, know you're the first, man. Whoa, whoa! What's popping? Everything is on the rise. Nothing ain't dropping. Not name <laughs> I'm dropping. name dropping. <laughs> <laughs> Well, fine. Now that uh, Francois put it out there, yes, that was my gorgeous, beautiful fiance that called in, and I'm surprised she called in. She usually doesn't want to, but she called in. Uh, so what happened was, seeing as it was me, yes, we spent all day together, which was a great day, and I have a 45 minute drive back. Uh, and you know I was what? I don't even out care. To the Can song. you just play the song? Oh, now you want to hear this? I already played it this morning. Oh, uh, we'll play it right now. Okay, you ready? All right, so. This is the song that I was now, mind you. Um, you said I was thinking about you. Mind when I was you, listening mind to you. Song. I explained and I told her. I said I didn't really look up the lyrics too much. <laughs> because so you don't even know don't if they know, apply. No, 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 no. I don't know if it applies, but it it, it seems like the she's vibe. in love with him, and she's like, when we stand here, time stands still. But like the vocals are very processed, and it's good. But it's like her accent, her voice. I have to look up the lyrics. But it seems like a very strong romantic song. Okay, press okay. play. And this is what had me zoned out just thinking about my baby. You got it on mute. All right. Well, we started a little early. Give me a second here. Uh, all right. Here we go. Okay. This is this is the one. Shout out to my baby. You though. got it on mute. You are listening to the number one college radio station in the country, Monco Radio, with your boy DJ Mad Maverick. This is going out to my beautiful fiance. Uh, if you're listening, hey baby, I love you. I don't know the lyrics, so I don't know if it's a happy song or a sad song, but it sounds like a happy song. I gotta look at the lyrics. <laughs>
And that was Sabrina Claudio Stand Still. <laughs> so yeah, I did my due diligence and uh, I looked at the lyrics and apparently, okay, so it's not a it's not a sad song. Uh, so these are the lyrics. It says, "Time stands still." You're not about to read all these lyrics. All right. So this basically, is- she's saying that <laughs> um, there's no need for us to argue. We both want the same thing. She wants him. He wants her. Right. She we wants want love. Each other. We want, we want love. each other. Yeah. So there's no point in argument. But, but so but I the, didn't but know I feel you because the, the vibe of the song is basically. Time stands still. When we're together. So like, right, right. So yeah, that's what yeah. you're reviving out to. Yeah, that's what. So what I heard, I didn't hear the time is being wasted screaming. No, li- <laughs> not listen. Right. Uh, not listen. I promise you'll hear me better. You're so unaware about the feeling. Yo, the let same me tell thing, you how. Let me dancing. tell you how. First girlfriend, right? Okay. Talk about song. Oh, now and we're lyrics. about to get in the relationship. And, and lyrics oh, misinterpretation. <laughs> um, so there's this song. By genuine called differences, right? That sounds like a romance. I th- oh, I don't even know the lyrics all like that, but I love that song. <laughs> okay, that, that music video made me want to get twisties, right. like the twisty cornrow braids. But there's another song <laughs> called um, no, no, no. There's a song by genuine called What's So Different. But mm-hmm. there's that's that's this joint where it'd be like you say you cheated on him, you do it to me, me. Uh, You're telling me it's different. But what the hell yep, is that? Right. But there's another <laughs> song called Differences. Differences, yeah. When he's floating in the sky. By um by like D'Angelo or something like that. Whatever. So mm-hmm. she requested she we were talking on the phone with each other, you know, late night or you you was a young teen and you talk until four in the morning, whatever. And then um she was like we were talking about what song we think interprets our relationship. Mm-hmm. And she said, Differences. And I was like, how the heck does that song By interpret? Genuine, is that what she meant? No. <laughs> See, I, I thought that's what she My meant. My whole life has changed <laughs> since you came in. Yeah, I knew you back then. Yeah, you were special. I'm so in love. Okay, that's Differences. Oh, that's yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the same same I'm artist. So in love. Yeah, you're right. Same artist. Yeah. So deep in love, you make my life complete. Yes, so that's sweet. the song she meant. Yep. Differences mm-hmm. by okay. Genuine. But, but what I thought say? she meant What's So Different by Genuine. Yeah, What's So Different. Genuine. What is so different? What's so different? If you cheated on him, <laughs> how do I know you're not going to cheat on me? I need you to tell me something. Check it out. Oh, my gosh. So, you say you want my trust and told me you were leaving. How am I to know that you won't do it to me? Right. So that's two completely. <laughs> so wait, what happened so, when you read two lyrics? So when she said that, I flipped out. I was like, what the? <laughs> she, and, and you know, when you're at, at that time of night, she was like pouring her heart out and telling me. Like, <laughs> you thought she. Oh, yeah. I was like, that's the stupidest song <laughs> you could have ever picked. Then after she cried and, <laughs> and she explained it so adamant, yo. and she explained it, oh I was gosh. like, oh, I thought you meant another song. Yo, you've never heard from that girl again. <laughs> <laughs> you broke her heart. Yeah. She, she probably like, felt so dumb. She, <laughs> she felt so bad and I felt so bad too. Oh my gosh, that's good. That uh, is good. Well, anyway. Well, that's the song that uh, I was rocking out to. Uh, and because that sounds like a, a dope, dope love song. Um, but it was a, it's a mutual song. Like, there's no point in arguing. But that, that girl, man, she can sing. She can sing. Definitely rocking out to a couple of her things. And then another song, Orion's Belt. My friend, so I was really trying to get me that's out a rap so we for could the show. eat. We still got five more minutes. No, we had 11 10 o'clock. 55. Bro. What? Who said that? Me. Why? For production schedule purposes. So that the next. Me, Mr. Professional. Well, <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, man. So uh, we appreciate you guys joining in. Thanks for all of our callers. We actually had some callers calling in. Yeah, we had two. Oh my gosh. Where? Yes. Let's let's give it up for our callers, man. Made made us feel special today. But we're all early in the morning, and I know it's busy. But once again, that was the Goonies podcast. You can catch us every Monday, 8.30 to 11. But Francois is saying 55, 10.55, because he wants to go get something to eat, and he's very hungry. Uh, but yeah, every Monday is, and I think our time is going to switch up a little bit, uh, just because of work schedules. But yeah, man, 
Uh, check us out, facebook.com backslash uh, The Goonies Radio, Instagram, The Goonies Radio, Snapchat, The Goonies Radio, Twitter, The Goonies Radio, Goonies Radio everywhere. What up?